Okay, so this is from the family Compostae and it's the genus Artemisia species. And it has a very strong pungent smell similar to parsley. So maybe the herbal gardens also incorporate food plants I see. as medicinal. And this one is? This one is Acanthus montanus. Looks a bit... The leaves are very crispy, meaning yeah. they're very drought resistant. Yeah. Got a sort of morphology that allows them to be okay in water stressed areas. This is in from the Aster family, Asteraceae family. So you'll have these nice pretty flowers. Yeah. Colours. <laughs> this one looks very similar to This one I've not heard of before. Lamiaceae family. So how many of these are familiar to oh, you? Oh wait, wait, wait. This one's basil. These basil. are like um, basil and in Hindu culture we have something called Tulsi which is the Tulsi plant. Which yeah. is considered holy. Um, some families plant them around the homes so that to prevent snakes from I see. coming close to the homes. Very fragrant. And what's this one over here? Gardenia. Gardenias. Yeah. Gardenias. They really changed this. Yeah. And if you were Improved? here, you could smell the gardenias smelling almost like jasmine. Solanacea. Yeah. This one is sometimes considered to be. Um, a weed in South Africa. But they use it for what? I'm not sure. Good, so many herbs are growing here in the garden. Let's continue our trip. Yes, let's yes, So that's a taking on your left. Yay, hello. Hello. So we have quite a uh, electrical system, I guess, for the irrigation as yes. well. Yes, I'm sure. It's a well managed system. That's a ficus there. You hear that? Very young ficus. This is a vine type thing. Yeah. Should be. That's what they've got all these structures. Yeah. Smells, different smells and yeah. fragrances. So lots of vines. And we've got these very appropriate structures. The vines to grow on. Yeah. Okay, let's take a stop. Then we can take a better pictures of some of them. I'm trying to look for the names. So many of these vines occur in Africa as well, do you think? 
Some of them look familiar. Us. Just trying to see. Oh. Yeah. Vines to droop down and take over the whole tree. I guess they will in the forest. But a bird? Yeah. has spines, a lot of spines on the spine to protect itself. So many spines. Hmm? It doesn't want to be eaten. But spines are also like modified leaves, right? Yes. To reduce evaporation. So you're getting a lot of leguminous plants here. It's not a sweet pea, it's a different flower. Interesting flower of the insect there as well. Many of the labels are overgrown. It has very faint jasmine. Mm, jasmine family. What is this one? There is elliptica. That's been old, Matt. There's not that much forest on there. <laughs> I think yeah, some of the forests are gone. Though, you know, they develop some of these and they condense the mist yeah. better than other pine trees. I like see. Two pine needles rather than three. And they've done quite a bit of research up north so as a way of conserving water. So they, are the needles adapted? I, I think it's the number of needles they've got there. Three nettled or two nettled? Yeah, I, I don't think. know if they're indigenous. I think they've, been, they've found that they do suit high climate. Right. Close the door. Close the door, Sam, please. Yeah. Can yeah, you close the door? It's not as interactive. Yeah. With more hands on, they actually do this seed banking. Right. Again. Body type. How to play. A 
Okay, all you heel down, heel dang, heel cow. Okay, push it. Go harder. Smooth or soft? Maybe, maybe a number. of materials. As a soul, the maceration process has been formed. You see, they are using, I to explain how the traditional way of extracting uh, what, medicinal stuff from plants or whatever in the home. Sorry, Okay, we tried. The importance of balance is interesting, the traditional folk healer.